Hey everyone, Five Firely here. It is April 23rd. Got a baseball best bet for you coming in just one second. Happy Friday, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share. Um, good to be back. It's been a little while since I posted a best bet video here on YouTube. The intent is to get back to that. However, with scheduling and things I've had going on uh, personally, it hasn't really been too convenient. However, that said, I have been posted on patreon.com slash five Farley each and every day. So you can always catch my picks over there. Uh, they've been going up every single day. Nice sweep yesterday of the board. Um, but baseball just getting into the swing, starting to hit form. The, this last week has been great. So I really like the way things are going. Uh, today's slate of games. Let's talk about that real quick. Today's slate of games is, uh, there's a couple games I like. They're already posted over there on patreon.com slash five Farley, but they're, there's none that I love. So yesterday, there was a couple games I love. Um, today, just a couple games I like. Um, I'll tell you ones that I don't like as far as the line goes and where it's at and that I'm passing on because they're big games, marquee matchups, Blue Jays, Rays, nice pitchers duel between Mats and Glasnow. Um, I'm passing on that one. Yankees, Indians, passing on that one as well. Um, Jacob DeGrom, too rich for my blood. Can't take a risk on that kind of a game. Um, Angels and Astros, very tempting there uh, to jump on the home team, uh, but I'm also passing on that one. Uh, Phillies Rockies dug into a little bit. Velasquez has a nice good history against the Rockies lineup, and Marquez not so much going the other way. Um, so I was also tempted in that one to take the Phillies. There's a lot of money going in on the Rockies, but it's not budging that line at all because I think he got bigger money coming in over on the Phillies. Taking a look at it right now, it looks like it's starting to go a little bit back towards the Phillies side. Um, and I think we'll get a little more sharp movement going towards the Phillies here as we get closer to first pitch. And of course, Padres, Dodgers. I'd love to take a pick here at this rematch uh, between these two uh, National League uh, juggernauts, but uh, I can't do it. I don't think I don't see much value here. Minus 145, if you follow Ralph, Ralph Michaels over on uh, Twitter, you would see that uh, Clayton Kershaw has not been a minus 145 at home since 2018. Uh, last time he was that slight of a favorite, in which he lost that game 5-2. to two. Uh, Notably, 2018, though, it's been a long time since you'll find Kershaw as that short of a uh, favorite. So, tough, tough uh, line to go with. Darvish has a tremendous history, though, against that Dodgers lineup, so it's very tempting to... Uh, Consider the Padres to get revenge on the road as the Dodgers uh, took them in San Diego uh, in their last matchup. All right, let's talk about the best bet of the day that I have. Really kind of a toss-up between two games. Um, the other one is also posted, though, as one of my plays. It's my next best play, and that is the Mariners and Red Sox. But we're going with the Cardinals hosting the Reds. Now, one of the big parts, uh, aspects about this game that I like is the Reds on the road. Uh, traditionally not very good. And the Cardinals at home, traditionally very good. Uh, Kim is a great pitcher at home, uh, was last year. Hopefully we get back to that this year, especially this game. Um, but last year, 2-0 at home, 18 innings and only 13 hits. Never had a crowd uh, considering COVID. This year he's going to be able to have a crowd in his back. Uh, pitching here at Bush Stadium uh, should be a nice uh, little home welcoming for him. Meanwhile, Sonny Gray, I mean, what is there to say about Sonny Gray other than he's great, but he does have a little bit of a weakness on the road here lately. Uh, that wasn't the case back in 2017, 2018, but he is starting to get that way now. Um, this year, 4.15 ERA. Uh, that's only at home. He's only had one outing at home. And so we're just getting into it. What was it last year on the road? He had a 4.68. He was one and two. Uh, 4.6 ADR Ray, 25 innings, 22 hits, 13 runs. The opponents hit 229 against him. Uh, while uh, at home, it was 180. Um, now, versus lefties, the Reds struggle a little bit. Uh, let's talk about that. 226 batting average. We know the Reds are one of the best hitting teams in baseball. Uh, 290 average at home, but on the road, it is a 206 overall average and against lefties it's a 226 average versus a 269 average against righties so not only do they uh drop their average way down on the road they drop their average way down on against lefties 
Uh, slugging percentage dropped significantly from a 488 to a 409. Uh, all things pointing to an offense that will not get the job done against Kim here today. One final note, I always like to look at where is the money going. As I mentioned before on uh, uh, one of the other games, Philly, Colorado. Let's talk about this one uh, in, where is it? There it is, St. Louis. The 68% uh, of the money is over on St. Louis, moving this line from a plus 110 opening line for the Cardinals down to a minus 110 uh, here as first pitch is coming in a couple hours. So Sonny Gray uh, uh, is getting 55% of the tickets. So a lot of uh, Joe Public tickets getting put on the Reds with their nice hot start, uh, not considering that this will right-size itself, uh, even though they're 9-9 nine nine and they put up a lot of runs. Uh, they're only 2-4 and four on the road. And uh, Sonny Gray, not particularly sharp on the road. Cardinals uh, do well at home traditionally, and they got Kim on the mound, of which the Reds struggle against lefties. So I think Kim will get the best of uh, these Cardinals. I'm going to take the Cardinals at home, minus the 110, best bet of the day. There you go. Good luck, everyone, today. We'll see you again soon.